welcome to Time Out for Art. This is Sherry, and today I am just doing some oil painting here um, with fruit. I um, The oil that I'm using is the uh, Dowler and Rowney Georgian oils. Um, they're pretty economical. You can get, um, I think there was five of these big tubes for, um, I think I got it at Michael's for like, um, I think it was 30 bucks, and I used a 40% off coupon. So I'm using the Dollar and Rowney oils, and then I also have some um, Winton, Windsor and Newton oils too. Um, <clears throat> I am oil painting on, these are just studies, so I'm just practicing on scrap wood. Um, I kind of take these scrap woods at the thrift store, and I'll just cut them up and then gesso over them, and then I can um, use it as a surface to do my oil paintings. Um, over here I have a, uh, and these are just scrap woods, I also got at the thrift store, I got like two for 50 cents, and so it's just a great way to practice, um, I like painting on wood, um, it's just a kind of an economical way to practice oil painting. I also have the Dowler and Rowney um, stand oil, or the um, thinner, and then in this little cup I have some baby oil that I use to... Um, clean my my brushes. So here I'm going to do a demonstration of a, this is a pair done in acrylic. I've let it dry and I'm actually going to oil paint on top of it. Um, <clears throat> and this is just another, this is just a straight oil painting that I did um, of a pair. So we kind of have a difference between acrylic and oil. So for this demonstration I've got a range of colors here. Um, uh, for the brown, I mix some burnt umber a little bit with some lemon yellow, and then for the rest of the um, the yellows and the oranges in the pear or the golds, I have some of the quinacridone and the rosemary quinacridone, and I think I use the lemon yellow and made kind of an orange, and then I just um, take it down a few shades. So over here I'm going to start with, I'm going to actually oil paint on top of this acrylic paint here just so I can show you how I would um, how I would go about doing this. So I'm going to plug in, and what I like about oil painting is you can come back and um, you can come back, back the next day and work on it and it's not, you're not in as big of a rush as you are with acrylic painting. Acrylic painting, you feel like you have to work super fast and can be a little bit more challenging and frustrating. So I'm just kind of, kind of plug, plug in my values here. Uh, and I, since this was already done in acrylic, I kind of have um, a little bit of a guide already. Just doing a little blending. <clears throat> kind of have a little bit of a guide already to where my colors go. I'm going to go into my next oil color, um, which was this one. And I'm just going to plug it in here. This is the brightest spot on my pair. And for me, I've just been really just kind of just painting a lot of I like fruit uh, it's just easy easy to paint and get it out of the grocery store come home and bring it home and paint it so fruit and flowers are kind of really what I like to do but um, that's something I recommend is if you're starting out and painting just pick a like a subject that you like and just work with that for a while um, Don't feel like you have to know how to paint every everything because that's not really realistic. So what I'm going to do here is um, I can actually darken this area and then I can definitely lighten this area. So I'm going to add some <clears throat> titanium white oil color to my lightest yellow or my lightest gold. Oops. 
and kind of lighten it up a little bit. And for my palette here, I just have a, like an old magazine, but you can use um, like foil. Uh, a good kind of foil to use would be like hair foil, um, like if you're highlighting. Um, you can pull out the sheets and use them and throw them away and you get a lot of sheets in one box. So that's a good um, kind of an economical thing to use. Uh, so I have my pair here. I'm going to darken this side and then um, and then that'll be it for the video. I'm going to add a little bit of what we call natural black, which is a little bit of burnt umber. And then um, some, some blue. I have some scion blue. I'm just going to use a tiny bit of that. S super small amount. I'm going to use my thinner. Thin it out a little bit. So with oil painting, you kind of do a lot of mixing until you get the shade that you that you um, that you want to use. I'm gonna pull a little bit of this orange into it too. <clears throat> I'm gonna clean my brush with some baby oil. And it, it just kind of releases all the pigment out of it since this oil paint you can't just like go right under the faucet like you can acrylic. I'm just kind of blending this in. So here you have it. This is just a quick lesson on painting pears and oils. Please like, click, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.